On first and ten, Groves. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First carry now for Nick Chubb. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. for Nick Chubb, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels, because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. First down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. Off play action, Groves. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> Throwing again, Groves. They set up the screen to Hill. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. the 37 on third down. Operating from the gun, Groves. And that is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch you should have made. 
They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the ten. the ball carrier. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Second and six. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a carry for Edwards Hilaire. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Edwards, just a yard up to the 39. Zedarius Smith. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. You must be two, 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 two. Here's Edwards Hilaire. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Brings up third and one. fake they'll look to throw and he's got this to the 30 before being taken down well they were in search of a short gain on third down and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards at the 30 yard line so a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 30 yard line They'll look to throw here. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Edwards Alaire, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. No gain on the play. It's third down and four. Hey, 
from the shotgun. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Love. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's holding it in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive going to plan so far. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the Texans four yard line. Line of scrimmage again the four yard line second and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. Charles, not only is that a... Interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Off the play fake. Groves. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Intercepted. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking of... Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw here. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. First half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely 
you're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He'll let this go deep. And this is taken in at the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Henry Ruggs, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. Almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. <laughs> things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Hilaire. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And the Bengals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. At the 42-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Taken down at the 43. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. the play fake. He'll look to throw. And 